Hey, it's Sean at Looking Point. We help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. A common question we get from our customers is how do I reboot the Cisco ICE server? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna talk about some of the processes you can look at, make sure the web services are running, and how to reboot the Cisco ICE server. If you're not subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get all of our content as we release it. And this is a Tech Talk. All right, so the last question I have around ICE is around, how do you reboot this thing? That's, that's, that's another question that we, we've seen a lot is just, hey, how do I reboot the ICE infrastructure? Or, I mean, maybe we should just talk about a single server and you could do that on multiple <laughs> servers, but how do, how do you reboot, reboot yeah. the server? Yeah, I mean, on the surface, that seems like a silly question, but um, I, I, can understand, um, I can understand why somebody would be, would be asking it. Um, so you, so you're, you're saying you don't just walk over and hit, hit the hit the power button like yeah it, it's a it's a little more than that right so <laughs> if if somebody were were looking at ice right this this is what they would see if i was an administrator i probably had you know some i may not have installed it myself i may have just been given the credentials and given the url to go to right so this is all i ever see of ice is i live in this gui and you'll you'll hunt in here forever trying to figure out okay how do i reboot this thing uh, no, not there. You can't. You can't reboot the thing from from inside the GUI. So that that's why the question kind of makes sense. And I and I won't give the person who asked it such a hard time. Um, so <laughs> I would. I'd be like, you just you just reboot. But that's me because I I didn't know it was that hard. Yeah. So what there, um, aside from the GUI or in addition to the GUI, there's a shell, right? So by default. ICE enables shell access to the application server. Uh, let's see here. So we'll get in to this ICE node. Uh, ICE pan one looking point dot com. And put in the super secret password. So this is ICE. And you'll notice nice. uh, if you're for if you're familiar with operating a router or a switch running iOS, there's a lot of crossover here. So th this is actually um, ADEOS, ADE-OS, and I forget what that stands for. It's like Application Deployment Environment OS, something like that. It's um, I think Cisco developed it. Uh, so you can do show run in here, right? Like, like you're oh, wow. used to take a look at all the, the settings here. You know, this this is stuff we would we would configure in routers and switches, right? Pretty pretty standard stuff. We can configure SNMP strings in here, uh, our NTP servers, our name servers, etc. Um, and then there's a, uh, a command set show application. So we can just use our our question mark here to get context for for completing a command, just like you can in iOS. So we can show application oh, version. I, you got to specify the application. I guess that's another point. So this ADEOS, it was just a generic um, application operating system, right? And then Cisco has, in uh, over the course of time, deployed a few different applications on top of it, ICE being one of them. And I think the last remaining one that I'm aware of that they deploy on top of uh, ADEOS, they did this. They used this OS for um, Prime um their prime application deployments, they sat on top of ADEOS as well. So that's why we have to plug in the application name here because this is not, um, or originally was not purpose built for ICE. So we can we can take a look at the version ICE is running. Here we're, we're a couple uh, minor versions behind in our lab. So we're running 2.4. Um, and then the command most people run when they come into the, the CLI show application, not version status, status, ICE. This will show you all of the processes that are running as a part of the ICE application. And rather than go through all of the processes, 
I'll clue you into the the main process, right? So application server. So if this is not running, your ice node is not working. The other um, the other way that I use the status of this this process is to determine after a reboot when the GUI is ready for me, right? Because I'm going to reboot this thing, um, and it's going to take you know about 10, 10 minutes to kick on all these services. This service is going to be the last one to start the application server, and the web server runs as part of this application server process. So while this is still initializing, you won't be able to log into the GUI, only once you see this thing running. So there are a couple different ways right, to restart things on ICE, depending on what you're trying to do. If all I want to do is restart the application services, um, then I can enter the command application stop ICE. And what that effectively is going to do is kill all these services that are running here. So maybe I'm running into some sort of some sort of issue on ICE um, as a first step in troubleshooting rather than reboot the whole node is I just want to bounce the application services to see if I can get through whatever it is I'm up against. This would be the, the command to run. I mean, it appears to take a little bit. All right, so it takes about three minutes for the all these processes to stop. Um, and then when you start them up again, you're, you're looking at five to ten minutes before they're they're fully functional. And, and I could see how it could really be an issue if um, if it's a physical box, you know, like an ICE appliance, mm -hmm. um, and you don't have VMware access because you know I was thinking VMware, you just hit restart or stop the machine and start it back up. Obviously, that's not mm -hmm. an elegant way to do it, but you could do that. But if it's in a data center somewhere and you're remotely mm -hmm. managing it and you're trying to reboot the ICE node, it, it yep. may not be as as uh, easy as you think. Yeah, so you, know, you always want to, if it's a VM, you always want to ask your you know, systems team to at least give you access into vCenter to manage this, this VM so that in the event of an emergency, you can get in there yourself restart the VM if if the CLI isn't even responding because um, there are cases where um, where you can't get to the CLI depending on what kind of problem you're up against right so having that console or that out of band type management access that vCenter would give you to the VM if we're talking about VMware or CIMC uh, Cisco integrated management controller would give you to the hardware appliance we're talking about that um, is is critical in any deployment. Is that that ensures you have an out of band means to get to the box and reboot it in in some uh, unforeseen situation? Nice. All right. So here we've got all the services stopped. So say I wanted to bring them back up. What do you think I'd type instead of stop? Start. You got it. Man, I'm like an ice wizard over here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so these this will take a little longer um, to to start these services up. So we cut, we cut out a little bit of time here, but this took about five minutes, right, to start up? Took about five minutes to start up, um, and then we can run that, that same command to see, hey, is, is this thing ready for us yet, right? Is, is the GUI ready for me? And I'm going to guess no. I'm going to think we're, we have kicked off the process to start the processes. Um, those processes themselves are going to run through their rigmarole to until they're ready for us initializing right so this is yeah. uh this is where we're not going to find any joy trying to connect to the gui right now yeah right you you want this guy running that's your clue that ice is ready for you mm -hmm. i like that and you can do what you're gonna do do <laughs> you do you <laughs> you do you all right, so now that we're running, we should be able to log into our GUI again here. Joy. We're, so we're back up. So let's say now this didn't fix our problem. We, we still have the same issue we're up against, and we want to fully reload the box. So okay. we've got a couple options, right? So this happens to be a virtual appliance. Um, so I could log into my my vCenter console and you know come into my VM. You can see it's running uh, VMware tools here. Um, so I can take the 
guest OS actions, right? So I can restart my guest OS. Now, what I've, I've found is that if I come into the hypervisor and I restart the guest OS, it doesn't gracefully shut down the processes. When I do this, it just restarts the OS. So anytime you're able to um, shut down those processes gracefully, you want to do it. So as, as a best practice, before you come in and restart via um, CIMC, if it's a hardware appliance, or via vCenter, if it's a VMware virtual machine, you always want to do the reload through the CLI. And you're going to do this by issuing that classic reload command that we all like. Um, and there you go. See, I wasn't lying to you. It's running ADOS. So do we want to save the configuration? Yep. And do we want to continue with reboot? Yep. And doing it this way will gracefully stop the services before it reloads the appliance. So this is always going to be the preferred way to reload an ICE appliance. Nice. Now, there are, there, you could take that in two steps just to be extra careful, right? I could do application stop ICE, wait for the services to stop, and then go into a reload. Um, but this reload command should do that for you as well. Cool. So to recap, we covered a couple, three commands. The status command, mm -hmm. which was the show application ice status was that right or show stat application show status. application status show application status ice okay and then we had uh application start ice and application stop ice right you got it and then application start application stop and show application status yep got it and then and then the reload is it's gone um, Reload. And then, and then we talked about the VMware, but I think the the, the, the real tips that you want to translate to people is you got to pump the console and running yep. the status command over and over and over. Pump <laughs> we'll the make console. It, <laughs> we'll make it load faster. <laughs> Those are jokes. Those are jokes. Those last two yeah. ones are jokes. Not very funny, but... I mean, you could, you could try them. You could try them, though. I mean, it's not going to hurt oh, anything. Oh, it, it might will not hurt. It, it can be make... They make the time yeah. fly fa feel faster. Essentially, right after that, we would we come back in, we'd show status, and wait till the the GUI loads, and then you'd be back into ice. Yeah, you got it. That's awesome. You got it. I appreciate you taking us through that. Um, thanks, Dom. Thanks for being here. Thanks for take giving us all the yeah. ice knowledge. Thanks for having me, Sean. I hope that you learned something from it today. And if there's anything that we said in this video or anything we didn't cover in this video that you wish we did, make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. And we will see you on the next Tech Talk. Thanks for watching.